Sasha. Bye, my friend. I'm off. Hi, my friend. I'm back from Russia. Hey, how was Russia? Ah, mwah. Russia is where gray was invented. Also, where vodka was invented. Oh. And Matryoshka doll. Hey, thanks. Seriously though, what was it like? Um, it was interesting. You know, the trains come every 30 seconds, every really? really grand. Yes. Um, also, the people live in slums, and this morning, some guy nailed his balls to Red Square as a demonstration against the government. What does that demonstrate? I don't know, but he has really strong balls. <laughs> Do you know what's in Lenin's tomb? Lenin? Lenin! Stuffed like taxidermy, just hanging out next to the Kremlin. Okay. Um, so after five days of reflection, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I'm doing chemo first. The question is, what kind of chemo? Before I had left for Russia, Dr. Anko told me that I had two options. The standard treatment for early stage hormone receptive breast cancer is called TAC. It stands for Taxol Adriamycin Cytoxin. Now, the acute side effects include nausea, fatigue, and hair loss, and the long-term side effects include neuropathy, loss of fertility, and heart damage. You'll receive a Taxol infusion once a week for five weeks, and then six infusions of the adriamycin cytoxin once every three weeks. So it's approximately 24 weeks of treatment. Okay. And there is also the option of TC chemotherapy. TC stands for taxoterocytoxin. TC is one infusion of both drugs every three weeks for four to six cycles. So anywhere from 12 to 18 treatments. The short-term side effects are the same, nausea, fatigue, hair loss, but the long-term side effects don't include heart damage. But still loss of fertility and neuropathy. Yes, but both of those are only possibilities. There are no statistics for women your age as to whether loss of fertility is a direct result of the treatment because you're so young. My best guess is less than 10%. It could be less than five. And. Neuropathy... Oh, uh, neuropathy refers to nerve death in the extremities. It usually begins with tingling in the fingers and toes, but that is a side effect that we can manage if it becomes an issue. Oftentimes, it's only temporary. So, which of these treatments is more effective? Well, there have been no head-to-head -head studies of the TAC versus the TC, but both are very effective. Okay, well... Why would anyone choose the TAC if it's a longer time in treatment and has the risk of damaging a vital organ? Because it is the current standard of care. So it's more effective than the TC? Nope. It's just the standard. So did you learn any Russian? Ya ne gavaryu What does that mean? I don't speak Russian. And apparently I don't speak cancer either. Strangely, a friend of mine from college underwent treatments for breast cancer right after we graduated. Nina was the same age as me, and I figured that she spoke fluent cancer, and God knows I needed a translator. My doctor wouldn't let me do TAC. He said the risk of heart damage was too great. You know, he didn't want me dealing with heart problems in my late 30s, 10 years down the road, so... So, why would my doctor recommend it? TAC is the industry standard, so most people are going to take that drug. But TC is the new drug combination. And by new, I mean it's been around for like 10 years as opposed to 25. So with both the TC and the TAC, there's fatigue and nausea and hair loss, yeah? Well, yeah, but not everybody has all those symptoms. And the anti-nausea drugs are so good now. I mean, I didn't throw up at all during chemo. I mean, of course I was tired, but I kept living my life and working. I mean, I planned my wedding through my chemo treatments. And I got married in between my third and fourth rounds. Now, you have hair in all your wedding pictures. It's a wig! <laughs> Which is actually easier than, you know, doing my real hair. I picked that shit up on Thursday, put it on on Saturday. <laughs> okay, um, did you have problems with neuropathy? No, I mean, not really, just a little tingling in my fingers, you know, but it went away. But I did have a lot of side effects that your doctor didn't mention. I actually had a major allergic reaction to the Taxol, and um, I had heartburn, and I had major taste changes. Awesome, so much to look forward to. So, this is personal, but, um, 
Did you lose your fertility? I mean, do you even know that, or? I mean, at this point, it looks like my fertility's intact, but there's no way to really know until we actually try to have kids, which is way down the road, for, for no other reason than maybe the tamoxifen. Um, but you know, I did the egg preservation, so. I say on the whole, you can make this sound a lot easier than I imagined it would be. It is, especially because most young women have more aggressive cancers. This breast cancer, it's the best kind of breast cancer to have. I, <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like a lot right now. You know, there's just like so much information and, and I'm just like overwhelmed. I'm totally, I mean, I completely understand. When I was first diagnosed, I said the serenity prayer a lot, you know? Calm me down, I used it sort of as like a mantra. God grant me the serenity. Yeah, I know it, serenity, strength, blah, 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 blah. All right, so that's maybe not the mantra for you. All right, how about this? A girlfriend of mine recently just ran a marathon, right? And running marathon is sort of like cancer. And what do you think she said to herself the entire time she ran? All right, follow me. She said, how do you eat an elephant? How? One bite at a time. Look, if there's anybody that can handle this, JC, it's you. So just take your time, take one piece at a time, and dig in.